hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in today's video we are going to see how to construct a simple headlight circuit by using this combination switch the headlight circuit will be activated by the light switch right here and then controlled by the dimmer switch that is located right here when it comes to the light switch we have three different positions we have the off position we have the tail position and we have the head position when the switch is on the off position, both the headlight relay and the tail light relay are not powered, so there will be no light. But when the first click happens, when we turn it to the first click, when the knob is turned to the first click, this will activate the tail light relay. That will give power to the clearance light, to the tail light, to the dashboard panel lights, and all those lights. And on the second click, it will power the headlight relay so this is the light switch that will control the tail light relay and the headlight relay this light switch uses these tiny wires because it is connected to a relay it is using these tiny wires these tiny wires are color coded the red one the white ones are interchangeably used so we can control the headlight relay and the tail light relay. Usually, the different color is for the headlight relay activation. So one will be power if I supply this power. And then on the first click, it will give power to this line, which will control the tail light relay. And on the second click, it will power both of them. So because these two wires can be used interchangeably, they are usually color coded similarly. Then, when the headlight is turned on, that electric power from the headlight relay will be supplied to the dimmer switch. This is the dimmer switch. On the back side, here we have the dimmer switch. The dimmer switch usually has four wires. As you can see, these four wires belong to the dimmer switch. One is a common line, one is for high beam, one is for low beam, and the other one is for flash. We're going to identify those in a minute. Now the idea is, when the headlight is turned on, power will be supplied to the headlight relay and the headlight relay will supply power to the dimmer switch. The dimmer switch, depending on its position, it will either turn the headlight on low beam or it will turn the headlight on high beam. High beam and low beam selection is activated by this lever. For example, when you pull it down, it will be on high beam. Pulling it up will bring it to low beam. And if you pull it further up, see there is a spring-loaded position. This position, let's call it the flash position. This position. The flash, the flash position will allow you to have an instant headlight flash, usually on high beam. Now the idea is by using the flash position, without using this light switch, you will activate the headlight relay and similarly you will activate the high beam. So that is the idea of the flash. This, you might have seen drivers flashing their headlights, requesting for a pathway or greeting, something like that. That is called the flash position. It is a spring-loaded position. Once you release the lever, it will usually go back to the low beam. So this is the dimmer switch. In another video, I'll show you the internal details of a dimmer switch. But our today video will focus on only the wiring of the headlight circuit. Well, as I've previously mentioned, these tiny wires are used for the relays. This will activate the headlight relay and the taillight relay. Now let's identify these wires. These wires from the dimmer switch. Well, if you can see from the color coding, if you have a manual of this switch, you can identify them by using a color coding. But let's see how to identify these lines if you don't have a manual for the combination switch now for this headlight identification let's simply prepare a slide chart that will have the wire positions and the switch positions and then we will use a continuity test to identify which lines have continuity on which switch position Now I have prepared a simple chart with the uh, lines 
and the switch positions on ISO side. Let's write the switch positions on here. We have, as I have said, there is a spring loaded flash position. We have the low beam position. And we have the high beam position. So these are the different positions. High beam. We have the high beam, we have the low beam, and we have the flash. Now let's write the color code of these whites. We have right here the white, black. White, black. We have the white, black. And red, yellow. The red, yellow is here. We have the red, green. And finally, we have a red, white. So these are the different wires that are involved in the dimmer switch. And these are the different switch positions. Now, by turning on the different positions of this light switch, the dimmer switch, by turning to the different positions, we will check which lines have continuity. Let's do that. Set multimeter to continuity. Test to see if the multimeter is okay. Okay. Now let's begin from high beam position. Now let's pull this down. The farthest down is usually high beam. So put it on high beam and let's see which lines have continuity. From these lines, let's see which lines have continuity. Alligator clips will become very handy on this kind of task. Okay. White black has continuity with red yellow. No other continuity. So on high beam, I have continuity between white black and red yellow. These two lines have continuity. I have continuity on high beam. I have continuity between white black and red yellow. Let's proceed to the low beam. Now, put the switch to the low beam. One step up. Let's check for continuity. No continuity here. We have continuity between the red green and the white black. So on low beam we have continuity between white black and red green. Now let's put it on flash position. That is a spring loaded position. This is a flash is a spring loaded position, pulling it up. It's a flash position. And then we will check continuity between those lines. Press it up. No continuity. Let's change this. Press it on flash. We have continuity. We have continuity. As you can see, these lines. These three lines have continuity. So when the dimmer switch is held to the flash position, we have continuity between white, black, red, yellow, and red, white. These three lines have continuity. Now we have successfully identified the different wires. As you can see from the table, it is clearly visible that this one is a common wire. It is usually color coded, you know, color coding can be very 
useful in identifying the terminals. This is different color. It's white, black. So we have a different color for the common. And then on the high beam, we have the red, yellow. Red, yellow belongs to the high beam. And red, green belongs to the low beam. And red, white belongs to the flash position. Now let's do the simple wiring. Let's see how the wiring is done. From this chart, we can construct a simple headlight circuit. Now let me draw the headlights and then I'll show you how it is done. Now I have, I have drawn two headlights with three filaments. There is a common filament, common terminal, there is a low and there is a high. Let's say we have two headlights for this instance. Now, depending on the design, we can either use this common as a power supply or we can use these lines as a power supply. It is up to you to select. Now, if we are using this as a power supply, if you are using this as a power supply, line coming from the headlight relay, if you connect the light, positive line coming from the headlight relay to this common line, then the dimmer switch will ground the entire circuit. So the dimmer switch will supply the earthing circuit, the ground line. If you decide to supply power from the dimmer switch, then the relay line, power from the headlight relay will be introduced to the dimmer switch. Then the dimmer switch will supply power to the different filament. And then the common line will become ground. So these are the two headlight variations. Either you use this as a power supply or you use it as a ground. For our demonstration, let's use this as a power supply. So if, our, if we are using this as a power supply, what we do is we connect this to a fuse. We connect this also to a fuse. Then these two lines will be supplied power from the headlight relay. Let's say this is a line coming from the headlight relay. So positive electric city. Positive line is, let's say, coming from here. It will be supplied to the common line of the headlight. Remember, it has to be fused. For this demonstration, we are not including the fuse, but it has to be separately fused. The left and the right headlights, they should be separately fused. In case something wrong with one of the circuit, you still have one headlight left. So it has to be separately fused. Now, because we have supplied positive to the common headlight terminal, then the dimmer switch, it should serve as a ground. It will provide ground. So the common line, for our case, which is white, black, it should be connected to battery negative. I will ground this line. Then what do I do? I will connect this red yellow to the high beam because it is selected as a high beam. Red yellow is connected to the high beam. Similarly, this high beam, it should come here and get connected in such a manner. Then this line, it should get connected to the low beam. Let's do the low beam. Low beams, they both come here and they get connected to red-green. So simply this is how the dimmer switch is connected. This line will be connected to the headlight relay. I can take this and then connect it to the headlight relay in such a fashion. So this will be terminal 87, this will go to terminal 30 of the relay. Terminal 85 and terminal 86 will be operated by the light switch. Let's do the connection. Connect this right here to the battery positive. This is a line coming from battery positive. 
let's call this battery positive this can be connected to battery positive directly please remember headlight is usually connected directly from the battery it doesn't have to pass through the ignition switch let's say this is battery negative which is directly grounded here now the relay is operated by the light switch the light switch that I have shown you previously this light switch will operate the relay by using these tiny wires. Let's do that diagram. Now this is a simple diagram showing the light switch. The light switch has three positions. There is an off position, there is a tail position, and there is a head position. First click will turn on the headlight. I mean first click will turn on the tail light. Second click will add the headlight on the tail light as well. Now due to the simple color designation, the two whites will get continuity when it is turned on tail. So on tail, the two whites will become continuous. When it comes to headlight, when headlight is turned on, on that continuity, you can check with the multimeter. On that previous continuity, the red line will be added. This is red line. So the red line controls the headlight relay. So terminal 85, 86 is a control circuit on the headlight relay. I can simply connect this line to the light switch. Then the common terminal, I can prefer, I can use either this as a common or this as a common because they are similarly color coded, doesn't matter. Let's say this is a common line. Let's ground this common line. Let's connect this common line to negative battery. So this is a complete circuit. Now, when headlight is turned on, when the headlight is turned on, the red line will be grounded, which means battery power from battery positive will pass through this control wire, 85, 86 circuit. It comes this way and get ground. Then this will be energized and uh, the headlight relay will be turned on. When the headlight relay is turned on, it will give power to the headlight, common terminal. Depending on which terminal is grounded at the dimmer switch, we will either have the high beam turned on or we will have the low beam turned on. So this is a very simple headlight circuit. Now, if it is on high beam, for example, power will come this way, it will pass through the high beam filament, then it will come this way and then finally gets ground at the dimmer switch. So this is a very simple headlight construction. Now there is also a tail light. A tail light relay has to be somewhere around here. We have a tail light relay that will connect to all the clearance lights and the back tail lights and the dashboard panel lights. They are all controlled by this terminal, the light switch. So the remaining terminal from the light switch goes to the tail relay. This is the tail relay. This is the headlight relay. This is also connected to battery positive on this side. You can connect it to battery positive. And then from battery positive, when the tail light switch is activated here, when light switch is on tail, it will power this relay and this will go to the tail lamps. It includes the clearance lights, the back red tail lights, the dashboard panel lights, the license plate lights, all those lights are illuminated by the tail relay. Now we are left with one terminal on the combination switch, on the dimmer switch, that is the flash terminal. Now what does the flash terminal do? The flash terminal, which is the final terminal on the, com on the dimmer switch, what it does is it will illuminate the high beam without the light switch so we will connect this remaining line to activate the high beam because as you can see it is connected to the high beam when it is on flash that spring loaded position on the dimmer switch we have a spring loaded position this position which is a spring loaded when i release it it goes back this position it is called the flash position the flash position as you can see it has grounded the high beam. The high beam line is grounded here. 
What do we do with this remaining line? We will control the headlight relay. So all we have to do is we will connect this line, a line coming from the headlight relay control, and bring it here. That way, when it is on flash, the headlight relay will come this way and then it gets grounded this way. It will be turned on. And similarly, because the high beam is also grounded, it will turn on the high beam as well. So all we have to do is connect this line, pass this way, and then connect it right here. That's it. Headlight relay. When this gets grounded, it will be turned on. High beam will be turned on. So without using the light switch, we can turn on the headlight on flash. Now to complete this headlight circuit, we are left with the high beam indicator. Now unfortunately, the high beam indicator on this kind of circuit is connected on the low beam. So, let's connect right here. Let's connect a high beam indicator. High beam indicator light is connected here. High beam Please remember high beam indicator is connected on the low beam. And uh, whenever the low beam is turned on, because this is serving as a ground line, the high beam indicator will be turned off. But when it is supplied with a high beam, this, it has to have a low wattage. The wattage is very determining. If the high beam indicator is turned on even on the low beam, it means you have a wrong wattage lamp on the high beam indicator holder. So the high beam indicator will be turned on only when the, when the headlight high beam is activated. Otherwise, when low beam is activated, because current will come this way and this line acts as a ground, there will be no illumination. But if you have a low wattage lamp connected to the low beam, when the high beam is turned on, positive current can pass this way and because it has low wattage, it can illuminate the high beam, but because of the increased wattage, it will not illuminate the low beam filament, but it will somehow illuminate the high beam indicator. So the high beam indicator is connected on the low beam side of the circuit. Now we have constructed the high beam and the low beam circuit. The high beam indicator circuit is constructed, and we have also included the tail circuit. Please remember all this circuit, it has to be fused. Fuse has to be connected separately. For example, if you want to fuse here, it has to be connected separately right here. Do not connect fuse on the main supply line. We don't connect fuse on the main supply line here. Uh, rather, we will supply fuse separately. The most preferable way of fusing this headlight circuit is actually to in include the fuse right here, separately on all the high beams and the low beams, so that when one circuit is disconnected by some electrical fault, then the remaining headlight will be functional. So the best way is to fuse them separately. Now that we have constructed this, let's do the wiring and see how it operates. So for this particular video, we will be using this as a tail light. See, we have terminal 58 and terminal 31. Terminal 58 is a positive line for the tail light, and terminal 31 will be the battery ground. It's a ground line. For the headlight, we'll be using this halogen bulb, and we have terminal 56A for the high beam. We have terminal 56B for the low beam, and as you can see, the common is grounded, and we have also a tiny clearance light right in here inside the headlight. That will be terminal 58 as a clearance light. So let's do the connection based on the diagram that we have previously constructed. This will be supplied from the tail light relay and these two lines will be supplied from the dimmer switch. 
Now let's do the headlight connection. I have a four point relay right here. This is terminal 85. This is terminal 30. This one is terminal 30. Now let's do the connection by using this relay. This is a four point relay. This is terminal 30. So I have connected terminal 30 to terminal 86. This is a power line. This will go to battery positive, a positive power line. And this right here is terminal 87. The terminal 87 will be used as a power supply to the headlight. So I will be connecting this to the power supply. And this line will be the control line for the relay. Now for this particular headlight circuit, I'll be using terminal 31 as a positive because from the previous diagram that I have showed you, I have used the, the center as a power supply positive. We have selected this as a positive, so I'll be using terminal 31 as a positive. Same thing happens because it is connected in parallel with this line, I will use this as a negative. So this will be a positive line. So I will take the relay output, which is this line, the relay output will be connected to the positive. Let's do that connection. Let's connect this in parallel. You know, in, a, in another circuit, it will be used as a ground. For this particular case, however, let me use it as a positive. Let's supply this with positive line from here. So power is now from taken from the relay and supplied to the common terminal of the headlight. And this will go to battery positive and this will go to the light switch. Here we have the light switch red. That will be for the headlight. Let me connect it here. And one of this line, it should go to ground, battery negative. Let's use black for battery negative, black for battery negative. So I'll be using this as a ground and also the dimmer switch because I have previously said the dimmer switch, this terminal should go to ground for my specific circuit. So let's ground this and connect all of this into battery ground. This should go to battery ground, battery negative, which is right here. I'll join these two as battery negative. Now I'm left with connecting the high beam and the low beam. 56A is the high beam. 56A will be connected to the other 56A. And then from that 56A, because it is a high beam and uh, we have previously identified the high beam to be red yellow so right here we have the red yellow this will be the high beam this will go to the high beam stuff it in the low beam will be 56b One will go to the other low beam, right here. And this should go to the low beam. According to our previous designation, low beam belongs to red green. Red green goes to the low beam. Red green would go to the low beam. Now the dimmer switch connection is complete. Only the flash line is remaining and for the tail we have to construct another circuit. Now we have almost completed the wiring except for the flash. Let me see the connection. Right here you can see it's the red line going to here. That is for the high beam and it will come to the high beam terminal of the dimmer switch which we have previously identified as red yellow. And for the low beam, we have used this color. 
and it is connected in parallel to the right low beam and uh, right here it is connected as you can see and we have also established connection between the relay and the dimmer switch here we have a power supply coming from this positive line and all the lines are grounded and now let's test and see operation of the headlight power it up I haven't connected the tail because it will be messy and uh, complicated now on the first click nothing will happen because tail is not connected let's see what will happen on the second click see headlight is turned on when I change the dimmer switch it will change it's changing let me see it from far see when I operate the dimmer switch the beams are changing it's off Low, hide it. But when it comes to the flash, as you can see the flash is not working. The flash is not working because this line is not connected. This line is not connected. Let's connect this to the relay line. The flash terminal is actually connected to a line coming from the relay. This flash line white yellow it should be connected to the line controlling the relay this is the line controlling the relay I'll connect it and see the difference now as you can see it is connected let's see what will happen see What it does is on the flash position because this is connected to the relay line it will turn on the relay the headlight relay and it will also control the high beam circuit so this is a very simple way of constructing a headlight circuit i haven't included a high beam indicator now let's go ahead and include a high beam indicator as i've previously mentioned the high beam indicator is to be constructed on the low beam circuit so this right right here this one is the low beam circuit so I'll be using this bulb I'll be using this bulb as a low beam indicator see it's it has to be a very low wattage light it has to be a very small wattage that way you can make sure that it is fit for this operation otherwise if the wattage of this light is very large it will not function properly now let's do the connection. We connect it to the low beam. One terminal here. And then the other terminal gets clamped. Let's put it on ground. Ground right here. Now, if the wattage is correct, if the wattage of that bulb is correct, when I turn it on high beam, it will not be illuminated. But when it is turned to low beam, I mean, when it is turned to low beam, it should not be illuminated. But when it is on high beam, it has to be illuminated. See, now it is on low beam, no illumination of the high beam indicator. But when I put it on high beam, it is illuminated. So this is the high beam indicator. Put it on low, it's off. Put it on high, it comes on. So this is how you connect the high beam indicator. Make sure that it is a very tiny bulb with a very small wattage. Otherwise it will not function properly. So if you happen to have this light illuminated when the low beam is turned on, it means that you have wrong wattage of the bulb. So this is how you can simply construct a headlight circuit. For this construction, uh, we can use this kind of diagrams. This kind of diagrams can be used. As you can see, the high beam indicator is connected on the low beam. We have used the common as a positive. 
which is directly supplied from the relay just like we have done just like we did the construction and here we have the dimmer switch and here we have the light switch we have two relays one for the tail light and one for the headlight so this way you can construct very simple headlight fuse is separate fuse for the left headlight and for the right headlight is separated here it's also a good idea if you can separate the fuse and then bring it here that way you can control each filament individually so that when one fuse goes out the remaining headlight will be functional as you can see the headlight circuit is directly connected from the battery it is directly connected to the battery so this is the light switch and this is the dimmer switch this is a very simple way of constructing a headlight circuit as I have previously mentioned there are different variations for example this one is using the common as a positive there are others using the common as a ground when this common is used as a negative then the combination switch dimmer switch this one should be used as a positive for this particular case because this one is used as a positive we have used the dimmer switch as a negative so the dimmer switch is grounding but power is directly supplied from the relay here so dear viewers this is all we have for you in this presentation this is how you can perform a simple headlight circuit construction without no complication with only two relays and uh, fuses and uh, stuff of that kind if you like this video please smash the like button if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video and uh, if you have friends that are in need of this kind of video please share share this video and uh, that's all we have for you in this presentation i hope you have enjoyed well we'll see you in another video very soon till then stay safe